Welcome to the SYNC podcast series, Stories in Health Innovation Through Interprofessional Collaborative Practice. My name is Dr. Tom Ryan. I am the former Executive Vice President and Chief Medical Officer for Mary Washington Healthcare and serve as the SYNC Program Director. As we are aware, modern medicine has been evolving to rely more on interdisciplinary clinical teams and wider systems of care than on decisive individualism from any single professional group. Recognizing this trend and the gap in relevant training, we developed the SYNC program, an innovative statewide partnership. The partnership includes the Medical Society of Virginia, the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association, the Virginia Nurses Foundation, the Virginia Pharmacists Association, and the Virginia Department of Health and Community Health Solutions. This program brings together all members of an interdisciplinary healthcare team. Teams attend six half-day training sessions on topics of leadership, creative problem solving, 21st century healthcare, operationalizing interprofessional collaborative practice, and individual and organizational wellness. They are asked to come to the collaborative with a project idea unique to their organization and put their learning into practice by developing that idea. Project support is provided throughout the program from our knowledgeable staff. To date, 50 teams have participated in SYNC and have tackled a wide variety of topics, ranging from the specific initiatives around chronic disease states, improving emergency room patient flow, to integrating oral health education into our patient offerings. There has been involvement of a great mix of teams from across the Commonwealth of Virginia and across healthcare practice settings with a wide variety of disciplines represented. We will highlight some of the wonderful work that has taken place and lessons learned by interprofessional groups that have gone through the program. Our hope is that in sharing these stories, you will gain ideas, learn from the experience of others, and further foster the spread of healthcare innovation. Now, here's your host for the podcast, Steve Horn of Community Health Solutions. Welcome to the SYNC podcast. I'm Steve Horn with Community Health Solutions and part of the SYNC support team. Today, we'll be talking with a pair of SYNC graduates from Valley Health. First, we have Larry Ponce, Corporate Director of the Oncology Service Line. Welcome, Larry. Hi, Steve. Good to be here. Great to have you. And next, we have Maureen Yarrington, who serves as Coordinator for Accreditation and Compliance. Maureen, welcome. Hey, Steve. Thank you for the invite. So good to have you here. Today, we'll be learning about your SYNC capstone project in which you convened a whole team to increase patient volume for oncology clinical trials. Maureen, to kick us off, why did you think it was important to focus your project on this topic and what were you aiming to accomplish? Uh, Valley Health said we did have a clinical trial department, um, but we did not have any focus related to oncology patients. So our team developed the project to identify and conquer the obstacles to have clinical trials directly focused for oncology patients. As this was coming together, you pulled together a team. This was a true team collaboration. We remember that from being in the, in the sync uh, learning rooms together. So Larry, we know this was a collaboration and we don't have everyone here who had a hand in the project. Can you just give a sense of the partners on a project like this? Yeah, uh, so we, uh, we of course had uh, Dr. Patrick uh, Wagner, who uh, is our, was our physician lead uh, on our team, but we also had uh, uh, representatives from our internal clinical trial office uh, at Valley Health. Plus we had a representative from uh, a private practice who had, uh, was active in, in uh, and lifting up clinical trial, uh, oncology clinical trials for, for medical oncology patients. Um, and so we had a variety of people, both within Valley Health and outside of Valley Health, uh, to take a look at this. Um, so now you got a team together and you got to take a journey to get this project up and running. And the project was started in 2019. 
And I want to ask you to give us a sense of your journey. What were the key action steps for the project, particularly at startup? And what are some of the results to date? Yeah, so, um, so our team, um, and this, the, you know, this, our team predates uh, the, the pandemic. So uh, with our team and, and, and this cohort, we were able to actually physically journey to Richmond and meet, uh, you know, in the short pump area. Uh, and so we we were, were were gathered around the table, you know, like all the other sync teams uh, uh, at VHHA, and uh, that was that was good because it really forced us, you know, to to take time away from work and uh, to be together. Um, and so uh, some of the results to date. Uh, well, let me go back to the action steps. So the action steps were uh, we had uh, met uh, and we called our meetings together, Dr. Uh, Dr. Wagner and, uh, uh, and Maureen. Actually, Maureen was the driving force with getting us together. She was our coordinator uh, of our team. And uh, so when we met, there was this energy with our team to improve clinical trials because what one of the things that we needed to do in order to maintain our accreditation as a as, as an accredited uh, cancer cancer program through the Commission on Cancer the American College of Surgeons is we had to make sure that we offered uh, oncology clinical trials to our patients uh, and achieve a certain level of of uh, accrual uh, to clinical trials and we, we were struggling with that. So we were all motivated to, to make sure that we could, we could do that and achieve that standard. Um, and the results to date are that as a result of this project and, and collaborating uh, with our medical oncology partners in Shenandoah Oncology is that we were able to proceed with signing a, a, an affiliation agreement with uh, uh, Virginia Commonwealth University to participate and have access to their uh, uh, cancer trials. Excellent. Maureen, Larry names you as a driving force, especially during startup. Uh, can you share some of your wisdom from that experience? Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, a book that has to do with the binding. So I consider myself the glue that was holding things together. Um, and everyone gets so busy with so many patients um, throughout the day that it takes uh, a lot of reminders um, to keep the project moving forward and a lot of coordination. And what I felt great about was um, they were always asking me, do you need any help? What can I do to help? How is this moving forward? They were as much a support to me as I was to them. And I also wanted to add to Larry's statement about um, accruing the, or accrual to the um, clinical trials. Um, through our project, we also improved our tracking and our reporting of these trials. So when it comes to the end of the year at our quarterly meetings, when our clinical trial person reports out, I can document quarterly what our numbers are. So at the end of the year, I am ready for that year to apply for the accreditation because accreditation is three years. So that's a lot of data. And I can't keep going back to people asking for more information. I need a concise report at those quarterly meetings. And that's what has developed through this project. So our team hit this project out of the ballpark. We did a great job. Larry. Yeah, Maureen is being humble, Steve. You know, she wasn't this namby-pamby white glue that you do use in third grade uh, art class. She was a super glue, buddy. I just want to point that out. A super glue. I love that metaphor. I also love the, the binder of the book uh, metaphor. And I deeply appreciate, Maureen, your story because it strikes me that as you were working on this project, you were building an infrastructure that's going to last around the data, but not just limited to that. 
and I think that takes a certain type of management vision uh, that's easily overlooked. So we really appreciate that about what you're able to accomplish. Thank you, Steve. You know, one of our key themes in the SYNC program is definitely teamwork, but especially in the context of interprofessional collaborative practice. So our next question is, is for Larry. Larry, in this project, it seems like the team came together across organizational units, but also professional disciplines. And what were some of the keys for bringing people together across those disciplines? And can you share a couple of breakthroughs or success stories that illustrate how that happened? Well, I think the, the key to this was that we all shared a common uh, goal and a, and a common mission to increase accrual to uh, oncology clinical trials. I think that was, that was initially the key. And we had you know, a variety of professionals on our, our team. Um, and it was quite interesting to me as we went through the uh, program and heard the lectures and, and, uh, and the presentations uh, and participated in the exercises uh, outside of the, of the capstone project uh, to see some light bulbs going off, uh, particularly for Dr. Wagner. Um, here you have this uh, Harvard educated uh, surgical oncologist scientist that's, that's boarded in surgical oncology and also anatomic pathology. And to see him participate in some of these teamwork activities and, and learnings on leadership, uh, it, was, it was really quite fascinating. And, and I know he got out, a lot out of that. Uh, we talked about it. He, he, there was one particular exercise that involved post-it notes. It was more of a creative exercise. And that served for our team as a key breakthrough moment whereby we discovered that maybe what we could do is we could approach uh, Virginia Commonwealth University and go after a contract separate and apart from um, Shenandoah Oncology and collaborate uh, together on it. So it was really interesting. And, um, uh, I, you know, that's what, one of the things that, that was fun for me to, to, to observe. Really appreciate that story from, from multiple perspectives. Uh, one is the actual innovation that you came out with right, which was a great breakthrough. But also you put your finger on something that we've seen to be very important in sync, and that is when physician leaders model the way as team members and learners, it's just a powerful thing. Everybody gets inspired, everybody gets more creative, and the whole team seems to gel. Yep. It's a powerful force. Yeah, we felt that. Sure. So interprofessional collaborative practice is one key theme of ours. Another key theme in SYNC is to develop capstone projects that really deliver authentic value. Maureen, from your perspective, how would you describe the value of the project for patients first and foremost, but also for the organization? When a person is diagnosed with a cancer, any type of cancer, it's a life-changing moment that they experience. So when we entered into this project, we wanted to be on the cusp of these clinical trials. And instead of being a follow-up team, we wanted to be on the cusp of it. And by developing this project and our establishing a relationship with the BCU, we can bring that to the patients. And if they meet the criteria, we can have we have access for that now. Whereas it, it wasn't there, it wasn't an option before. Mm -hmm. And with having a clinical resource coordinator dedicated to oncology, they often meet with the patient even before they're discharged, discharged from the hospital to discuss any of these trials that could be of value to them and in their healing process in their journey. Excellent. Um, and Larry, from your perspective uh, on value, uh, the value of this for patients and for the organization as a whole. 
Yeah, well, for for the uh, from the uh, value perspective for for patients, it does give our patients access to clinical trials, you know, that they can participate in uh, that takes the current standard of care and, and, and uh, compares that to perhaps a new standard of care for, for oncology and uh, improves the standard of care uh, for, for patients. So for patients at a patient level, there's huge value in participating in a new standard of care that might extend life um, and or improve the quality of the, their life as they go through uh, cancer treatment. And for the organization, it's, it's more than just uh, meeting a standard in, in, in an accreditation uh, program. It's, it's really uh, developing sort of this inner synergy around clinical trials and uh, broadening of our program uh, that we can offer to our community uh, uh, in a deeper way that they could not get otherwise. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's time for our closing question. Uh, and this question is about personal learning. You know, SYNC is a team-based program with an all teach, all learn kind of culture. Um, we hope that teams learn together, but we also hope that each individual takes something positive away from the program. Um, so Maureen, we'll start with you on this one. Focusing on your personal learning, could you share a couple of personal insights or ideas that you gained from SYNC and carry forward? Sure. Um, in many facets in life, it takes a village. Um, so through this opportunity of, of participating with SYNC, I've learned that patient care and wellness is not simply between the physician and the nurse, but there is an entire team, especially for a cancer patient. Um, there is a whole team on their journey with that patient. And for me to be a part of that team is exhilarating for me. Um, I've actually had a couple of patients call me on the last day of their treatment to say thank you for everything that we, were, we have done for them. So that to me is life-changing and I am proud to be here. Yeah, clearly so. Uh, and thank you so much for sharing that story. Um, and Larry, your turn. Um, what are your takeaways, personal insights or ideas that you've carried forward from this SYNC experience? Um, well, it's personal insight uh, is just how much fun you can have with bringing people together and, and developing some synergy around a, a, a focus on a project or a, or, or a common mission and, uh, and to have fun with it. And all of the different learnings that, I mean, there, there are all of the SYNC uh, presenters and um, were fascinating to me. I learned a lot through SYNC and, you know, and, you know, I, I, I think of, of uh, the story that uh, Kathleen uh, uh, Fitzgibbon is that, is that her? Am I remembering that correctly? Mm -hmm. uh, who uh, I'm referencing here, the, she was the D division chief of West and South Africa for the U.S. State Department through the Ebola uh, outbreak. And, uh, and listening to her tell that story of how, how influence and, uh, and interprofessional collaboration worked uh, to to stem the tide of Ebola, uh, that was fascinating. You know, that's, that, and there's many others uh, that I'm, I'm recalling. And uh, just this idea that my own personal skill set is enhanced and, and strengthened uh, by those. Uh, and uh, and the, the, the groups that I've been involved in with our capstone projects have, enhanced and strengthened our organization and have been, and have yielded real results. So it's, it was great. Maureen. Yeah, if I can just, um, I have one more comment. Sure. Um, 
we are just a small part of the Virginia Department of Health. So when we speak of an organization, we're not just speaking of Valley Health, um, but the whole state of Virginia. Um, because I've actually received a couple of phone calls from other facilities, from other hospitals and facilities in the state of Virginia. And those people had gotten my name and contact information from other groups that were in attendance with us, asking questions about accreditation and everything. So it, like I said, it, it truly does take a village and we're not just here to support our organization, but the whole entire Virginia Department of Health. That's a wonderful point. Thank you, Maureen, for sharing that. And gosh, we know you're representing a whole team of committed professionals at Valley Health, but you're making the point that this is much bigger. Um, so we thank everyone at Valley Health, the Virginia Department of Health, um, and everyone in this network of partners that you've uh, developed. Uh, it's such a good thing for Virginia, and it goes to the mission of everybody involved to create a healthier Virginia. So we appreciate it very much. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate you both. Thanks for sharing. And we'll sign off. We hope you have gained some new insights and ideas from the story shared. To learn more about the next SYNC offering, please visit SYNCVirginia.org. That's S-Y-N-C-V-A dot org. There you will find more information can view past projects and contact us with any questions. Through the generous support of funding from the Virginia Department of Health's CDC Living Well and Innovate grants, there are opportunities for teams to attend tuition free. See the site for details or contact us directly. Until the next time, this is Dr. Tom Ryan signing off. Thank you for listening. <laughs>